Okay. I mean, uh, yeah, come on. Let me get over here. So, all right, where are we at? Okay. Ooh. Okay. Here's the schedule. So we're in here until 10:18. So if you're that person that likes to keep track of what the uh, the times are, so 10:18. Uh, so then you got period six next. It's the exact same schedule as yesterday. Yesterday's schedule. The only difference was. Period nine went to 140. They added an extra 15 minutes for uh, computer checkout yesterday. Uh -huh. We don't have to do that today. So we're at a 125. I'm expecting probably the next three days we'll have the same exact schedule. So I'm just, it's kind of nice. nice. It's a nice way to nice. break into the school year, okay? Um, today, we're gonna do some book checkout. It won't take us very long. There's only four of us in here. So, uh, so we'll do book checkouts. I just need to know your number. So inside your book, so if you open it up, right? So here's your book. Inside that cover, I think there's a number up here. You got some printed thing where you can put yeah. names all on. I just need to know that number. So um, it's usually written with a black marker, or red marker. It was written in by students, not me. Uh, you can tell by the handwriting, it's not mine. Um, I just need to know that number. Now, when you do that number, you are going to hold that book number up to me so you're like, so I can see it. The reason why is that a student a couple years ago was dyslexic. They said 17, their book number was 71. We had an issue because they didn't have the right book at the end of the year. So I'm just going to confirm. Okay, so I'm just going to go around the room. Um, you don't even need to say it. You can just hold it up, okay? Um, <laughs> hold it to your neighbor so they can see. I'm gonna just going to confirm what your number is and your neighbor will say. So look over there. So. All right. 45. Somebody confirm 45 for me. So I'm not the selected yep. one. All right. Uh, 25, good, 25, confirming it, 32, somebody confirming that, yes, 44, 44, that's an easy number, I think this dyslexic on that one, and then we'll have our no, it's a double four later, like, okay. keep, keep listening for a buzz, in case they check in, I don't think they are, but they might, like what, so, what is the notification sound? Because you say blacked out for a time, but I don't, I don't know what it. To for. me, it sounds like it when sound you like get an email, like a bling. bling. Oh, it's a, it sounds like you get an email. Bling, bling. Yeah, something like that. Okay. So that's that's what I'm waiting for. That's when I know they're checking in. So otherwise, they just have to email me. All right, let me uh, take attendance here real quick, and then we'll get started. Um, gotta do this. Time. Oh, this is gonna suck. Yeah. Um, yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Oh, no. So, all right. So now, here's the next thing I need you to do. Um, I would like you. I shouldn't say need, but I'd like you to have a Chromebook out. So if you have a Chromebook, perfect. Take it out. Uh, let's get logged into it. Yeah. 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 So Chromebook. All right, so now what I'd like you to do is we're gonna make your way to my personal website, and it's a shameless plug. But some people just need this so they can bookmark it because they don't know. All right, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna make your way to um, uh, ghvmath.com. It does not have to be capitalized, so ghvmath.com. Or you could go to mrward.org. Or you can go to hsmath.org. Just do the first one that takes you straight there. Yeah. It, they all take you to the same website. So if you type one, it just literally takes you to the first one. I just figured the first one I gave you was the one that you can probably remember the easiest. It makes sense. Yes, sir. So um, I th the reason I bring this up is yesterday on the PowerPoint we did, I think I had an incorrect address for this one. I think it said .com. That takes you to some random person's website, not mine. Sorry, I didn't filter that one. Uh, it's not work. Sorry. All right. I have a lot of web addresses. So, but I bet you just use GTV. Now, if you never open this website again, it will not hurt my feelings. It's just, if you need it, it's nice to have it. You don't need, there's no ads, there's no uh, money collected, there's nothing, there's no revenue made on this website, nothing. Nothing at all. I pay for it and it costs a lot of money. Um, so, uh, the idea is that it's just there in case you're sick, you're gone, you just need to, maybe you're not even sick or gone, maybe you just need to watch the video over. I didn't even know what you just did today, I forgot. I don't even know how to do it, you're at home, you're trying to figure out homework. 
it's just nice. So we're gonna go through the logistics of how the website works so that everyone's on the same page and you kind of feel more comfortable with where to click because I just kind of talked at you yesterday. So the website's pretty easy. You can scroll down for days. There's a bunch of stuff you can look at. It's pretty, it's got a nice photography and whatnot on it. Now, eventually you'll get to a section in the middle and I'll do it here myself. I'll just kind of scroll. Now, let's see, all right. You can scroll and it will eventually take you to the today in the classroom. Uh, that's, I try to update this after school every day. So today, like this afternoon at one o'clock, I'll update this so it says Tuesday, you know, August 25th. And then it will have, you know, consumer years will be updated. It'll have a new picture. It'll have some new notes here. It'll have new links that will take you to the correct uh, site that you need to go for today's uh, work. Um, uh, they, they're all hot links. Even this picture is a hot link. It'll take you to stuff. It's got geometry. It's got the others. And you can scroll for days and it's nice and pretty. Now, okay. I'm going to go right back to the top. You don't need to scroll. Some people like that. Parents go on there, they like to look at everything and click on everything. Now, what you guys will probably use is just probably the links at the top. They're kind of hard to see. Those are pretty much the only things you really need to click on. They're probably the easiest for you. You don't have to scroll and waste your time. Uh, the one that you probably use the most is probably just daily lessons. That will take you to the link for you know every lesson we have. It, gives you, it takes you to a carousel where it has all the lessons for the year. So you can kind of go back at other days and look. It's not just today's lesson. Um, so if you click on that, it will give you a drop down. You don't need to do that. But eventually it will pick consumer. I think it should be the one on the top. I think it's alphabetical order. I think that's how I entered them. Um, now the archive, that's previous years. So maybe you want to go back to a previous year. Maybe I explained it differently. Maybe I used a different example that makes more sense to you from previous years. Most people will probably never click on it. Professional development, that's for teachers. You probably don't need that one. That's because I have to have it since I'm a model teacher. People have to have links to my website. Um, girls basketball, student council, chess club, if you want to join that. Um, so I got a bunch of other stuff on there. So uh, things about me, I just have to have it on there, it's stupid, but whatever. All right, so let's click on the daily lessons and let's go to uh, consumer math. Let's do that little drop down. So I'll do that here as you watch. So daily lessons, consumer. All right, so let's get rid of all of these. Okay, so here's what it should look like. It's basically just a carousel. It's gonna have everything you need on here. Now, we unfortunately don't have an online textbook, so I don't have any links to the online book from here, so sorry. All right, so here's what we have. It's got a nice little description of what the course is. It's got you know some links that we will use throughout the year, Khan Academy, which is some videos that are just nice to see somebody else teach it, not me. It's whoever runs that website. Brilliantly done, a really quality website. So definitely outshines mine by a million miles. Um, SciMath, it just helps you solve math problems. So you type it in, it'll show you how to solve them. Any problem, you can just type it in, it's awesome. And then Wolfram Alpha. Wolfram Alpha looks like Google, but it's not. It's not, it doesn't search the web. It just, it's like an encyclopedia. It, whatever it has stored on its server, it spits out the answer. It doesn't search any of them. Um, it can, it's basically the highest, most super computer, you know, calculator you can come up with. It's owned by Microsoft. It used to cost thousands of dollars for universities to even access this. Now they just give it out to the public. So it's awesome. We'll use that a lot. If you ever need a calculator, like that's the go-to. You should use that for sure. Um, Google's fine, but that thing is insane what it can do. Um, the carousel. So this is what I'm talking about. So if you have more than one day, they're going to all show up here. Now, I think I have it set, and, I, and I'll confirm it later, where when I post today's lessons, August 25th, this August 24th will move over, and then 25th will be, always be in the front. So the newest lesson will always be in the front. So you don't have to like scroll for days to find the video you need. So, um, but there'll be a little arrow over here. So when you click, it'll rotate this. Like it'll look like it's rotating like around a circle. So you can see it. It's kind of nice. Um, but if you click on that, so this is yesterday's, so it'll bring up what we did yesterday. Yes, there's a bunch of photography there. Um, it's got you know the detailed outline of what we did. If one of you has really nice penmanship, I'll take pictures of your notes and I'll post the pictures of the notes here just so that everyone has a copy of exactly the problems we did. It's kind of nice. I'll have a nice picture. It'll be off to the side. But I'll have my outline and I'll have the basic problems we did, but I won't have the detailed notes that you need. So that's why I like to have a picture of somebody that has really nice penmanship. Um, but then if it, there's homework assigned, I'll have it there. It'll have the due date. It'll have the zero date clearly marked. I'll have it in James E. Lesson Planner. I'll have it written up here, like always. Um, so they'll be clearly up there. Um, 
And then if there's a PowerPoint like we did yesterday, I'll have the PowerPoint slides here. It automatically clicks through them. There's nothing you need to do. You can download those if you want them. Um, I don't care. Um, and then the class film would be right here. Now, unfortunately, I used a white background. You can hardly see it. But if you click that as an actual video. Sorry. Okay. Hey. If the screen goes black, don't worry. So it's what okay. we talked about yesterday. Okay. Start. So pretty straightforward, right? It's got good quality. Um, you can turn closed captioning so you can actually read what I'm saying. Um, and it does a pretty good job automatically doing that, my cameras do. Um, now, um, if you, you don't need to do this, but let's say I'm going to go back to like 2018. This, this will show you an idea of the archive. This is what your lesson, daily lessons would look like if there's more than one day entered. You can see it, right? The, the carousel will spin for days. So you can see the lessons. Now, I separate them by chapter, so this is chapter seven stuff. So you can go back and you can kind of see it. You can see review days. You can see the notes we did. If there's you know homework that's due, um, I have that. Um, this is even clickable links, so if I have worksheets, you can click them, download them, print them if you need to, if you lose it. I always give you a copy of it. But it's kind of nice. It's just a nice place to have stuff stored, so you don't need to have it memorized. Um, if there's homework due, this is due today, obviously. Uh, there's homework that's due Friday. I try to keep it pretty organized so that you're you're well aware when due dates are and you know what other things are. Um, so yeah, and this one I used a black background so you can actually see the video a little bit better. But this is two years ago. You can see the difference in quality of just the cameras that I've upgraded to. I mean, this is just makes your eyes bleed when you see it. <laughs> I can't, I can't look at it. I can't look at it. It's ugly. All right. So, um, yeah. So, that's the website. Again, it's free. If you never open it, it doesn't hurt my feelings. I just have it for you guys in case you need it. It's nice when you can go back and watch a video. It takes a lot of time and effort, but I think it's worth it once you get to use it and get familiar with it. So, any questions with logistics on the website? Okay. You Maybe you'll think of something later. Like, hey, I like this on there. I like this on there. I spelled something wrong. You gotta let me know that stuff. I'm human. I make mistakes a lot. Um, this too. But oh, yeah, 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 um, yeah. So, um, so there it is. Um, okay. Other logistical things. So now we got you know ten minutes or so. Um, things that I that I want that I want to kind of clarify. Um, if we go online, okay, if we go online at some point, I'm not saying we will, but let's say if we do. I'm gonna to continue to use the website like I always do. I'll make videos, I'll post them, as I can do with my iPad. I'll still Zoom every day at this time that we normally have class, so what the normal schedule would be. So not like two hour late start, but normal time. So if you wanna Zoom in and see me live, because I basically dedicate that like hour that we're supposed to be in class to like making the class video and then posting it. So you get to see me do it live, you can ask questions, it'll be like a class session. If you don't wanna do that, it's fine. You can just watch the video later and do the homework. If we have a test, and we're online only. What I'm gonna do is I'll Zoom you, and you have to report into the Zoom on this one, and you have to have nothing in front of you, no cell phones, nothing. You can't be in reach of a mouse or a keyboard. You can just have a calculator in front of you. I'll basically have you have a separate sheet of paper out with your name on it. You'll, I'll hold up questions on the camera, and I'll freeze it to the camera so you can just see it. You answer the question on your piece of paper, and I wanna see your hands on camera so I can see that you're actually answering it. And at the end of it, I'll give you an hour and a half to test if we're online. It's not just you know the 40 that we have in class, um, but I'll give you an hour and a half to test. And at the very end of the Zoom, I'll have you immediately send me a picture of your work back to me. Immediately, no delay. Like you take a picture of it with a cell phone or your Chromebook, and you immediately email it back to me. Does that make sense? That way, you don't have to worry about doing a stupid Google form and clicking. You don't have to write with your touchpad. That's dumb. You're writing with your pen and paper, pencil and paper, and then you're just gonna send me a copy of that work back to me with the questions clearly marked and what the answers are and everything. I think that's the best way, because then I can print it and just it's just like a normal test to me. I can just grade it like a normal test. I think that's the easiest way we can do it. Um, I, if you've received an email from me, I did add you guys to my Google Classroom. That's where I'll put worksheets and stuff. I still add them to my website, but it's nice if you have a Google Classroom, it's just very organized. It's already in folders. It has clear due dates on there. Um, I think if you've been in there, if you've logged in, I think I have a question of the day in there every single day. Just so if we go online only, I'm going to use the question of the day as your 
attendance check-in, answer the question. Like today's question is, what is the address for my personal website? That's the question of the day, right? So uh, that's kind of what I use if we go online. That's what I'm doing with some of the students that are gone. So questions. I think I covered all my bases. It's pretty easy. If you if you look through your textbook. It's super simple. Um, I'm outside the book a lot because I try to bring in real world situations to you. Things that I've been dealing with, stuff that you know I've learned over the years um, that I think would help you in the real world when you're out in your own and you're you know, surviving basically. So. Okay, I talked a lot. Anything that's on your mind, I can turn off the camera if you need to if you don't want to be on the camera. All right, I'm going to stop the camera there. That, that's it. That's all I got today. Uh, tomorrow, um, we are going to start hot and heavy. Um, I'll just write the topic, what we're talking about tomorrow. No notes. This is just the topic. We're going to be talking about wages tomorrow. Wages are what you earn when you work. Um, we're going to talk about, you know, how much money you can make, um, potentially what the taxes are and the things that come out of your wages. Um, so that's called gross versus net pay. And then what you'd make annual. So and your annual pay, which is what you make per year. That's something that's important when you have to fill out applications for loans and student loans and mortgages and other things of that sort. So there's a lot of topics tomorrow. Um, but that's what we're going to discuss. I'll have that on the website for today. I'll just say this is our topic for tomorrow. So you kind of are clearly aware of what we're going to discuss. We'll probably be outside the textbook a little bit tomorrow. I'll have us do a little bit of research. So bring your Chromebooks tomorrow. Look up some websites, look up some prices, look up some jobs. So that's all I got. So um, yeah, you're, you're free to kind of relax here for a little bit. I don't want to put anything big on you.